All right, it's time to buy some sweet swag. Mm mm mm. All right, I think. Well, since I'm the rifle. SMG, SMG. I'm gonna go for the. Uh... What does this thing do? Does damage ten? What do I? What do I actually have right now? I have an AK-47. Is that the same as this? What is this has? Oh, this has four more clip. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need one of these guns. Yeah, I actually think I'm like totally set. Oh, I wanted some. I wanted the juice. I wanted the juicy juice. Are right, we gonna check this dude out? Every inch. The tech alcove is covered in chaotic patchwork quilt of circuit boards, chips, wires, displays, and a million other things that you can't identify. In the eye of this techno bits storm stands a dwarf, immaculately dressed and supremely calm. Oh, look at that dwarf! Look at his face, dude. That is so good. I might swap out headphones. These ones are getting super freaking hot. Oh, whatever. Sweat it out in this one. I know that look. Don't let the size of the shop fool you. I can get any Matrix hardware or software that exists. If it doesn't exist, then I can get it made for you. Any question I can answer, anything, any gear you'd like to need, what's the deck? You jack into the Matrix, or in the context of a run, when you jack into the local node of the facility you're in. The deck determines how many programs and ESPs you can carry in the firepower <gasps> of your base Matrix attack. Decks have IP, and when the deck's IP is reduced to zero, you'll get booted. What's a program? Program in the Matrix allows you to defend your avatar against countermeasures and enemy deckers. There are a wide variety of different programs for attack and defense at different power levels. As you progress as a decker, you can use more powerful versions of these programs. What's an ESP? Johnny, you want to take this one? Oh, it's Johnny clean. Sure, when you infiltrate a facility on a run, uh, you have a team. When you jack into the Matrix, you are all alone. That's where ESPs come in. An ESP is a highly advanced artificial life program, which, when you deploy it, manifests as another team member in the Matrix. Different types of ESPs have different abilities. I don't know what any of this is. Is this just, like, another kind of spell, I guess? I don't know what any of this means. I don't think I can do any of these. Except for... No, none of them. I can do none of these things, and I'm sure they're valuable, but uh, I don't... I don't know. I don't know. See you later. Not gonna learn it. Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah. Bye. I'm gonna just go. Alright. What's my current quest? Oh, wait. We need to meet all the vendors. Okay, I need to meet this guy. What up, Algeron? Past the bar, the edges of the safe house become somewhat indistinct due to the magical haze surrounding a particular elf. The man seems only half of this realm, his mind wandering the far horizons of astral space while his body peddles his otherworldly wares. Let me see what you have. Hmm. Tardic ignores it. Wow, this is like a lot of stuff. God! This is a lot of stuff.
Look at all this conjuring stuff. What does this conjuring do? I think I might just do standard combat fighting. What's my What's my current equip setup? I have the heal wound, I have the mana ball, I have mana bolt. I think I might just offload mana bolt. I don't think I'm gonna be using this if I have my AK-47. The mana ball makes sense, I think. Power bolt is oh, that's just a spell, okay. You know, I think I'm gonna just dish back Power Bolt. Sell these things. And what do I want? I like I like buffs a lot. So maybe aim one. Cheap and easy. I'm gonna snatch that one up. What are some like high-end spells? Are there any high-end ones? Stun bolt. A stun spell which does minus one AP to the target. Mind wipe might be really good. Distraction one, decrease lightning bolt. There's a flamethrower. I think I'm already dealing some damage. I'm gonna do things like things that buff up the. I think mind wipe sounds pretty cool. Wait, why do I? Why do I have? Wait, what? Wait, what? Why do I only have three spells now? I don't understand. Does this have to do with the essence? Wait a minute. Spell casting. Ah, uh, let's see. Where's the equipment? Okay, I do not understand why I lost a spell slot. Anyone know? I'm look I'm looking for I'm looking at you, chat. Uh let's see. Is it because I'm, like, demagifying? Yeah, like, like, does can anyone answer me why on earth I lost a spell slot? slots throughout. I don't know. Yeah, look, I only have three spell slots. So I have heal wound, aim, mana ball. You know what, let me... I have grenades, so I'm just gonna minus this, and I'm gonna try to put in mind wipe. a slot, whatever. It's fine. Alright. 
The bunk is a mess and reeks of booze. Searching through sheets of blankets and pillow, you find an old photograph. I've seen a lot of wear. Look at the image. Pictures of a blonde boy and girl, both about age 14, sitting on a dock on the edge of a lake. They appear to be twins. The boy has his right, his arm tight around the girl's shoulders and is mugging for the camera. The girl is planting a kiss on his cheek while making rabbit ears behind his head with her fingers. Check the back of the photo. Oh, shit. Written in a woman's hand are the words, Sam and Jessica. Lake Sammamish State Park, summer 2014. Pocket the photo. No, no, no! Ah! Oh, that's fine. I guess I'm never going to talk to her again. I'll move for some combat. Return to Coyote. Okay, great. Go back down. You're back. I think the head a highlights of the Wolves game will be on soon. Want to take a load off and watch with me? Do you know someone named Jessica? Her brown furrows. No, why? That's the name of Sam's sister. Jessica Watts. Yeah, he mentioned her once. It didn't sound like they got along that well. Your comm link chips, and the screen shows John Dresden in the corner from the organ grinders. He doesn't look happy. Dresden, you don't look so good. Never mind that, I'm fine. Listen, I'm at the NTSB investigation facility down on the docks with the corpse of what looks like another Ripper victim. If you want to check this out, I would get here fast before McCluskey does. Thanks for the call. On my way. Another Ripper murder? Where? The docks. I've got to go. Okay, listen. I want to help. You dragged me out of the Royal, the Royale before. Something bad happened. Worse than getting my arm torn off, and Sam was my friend. You head to the docks, and I'll see if I can track down Sam's sister, Jessica. She might be able to help us. It's awfully nice of her. Uh, see you when I get back. Can't be bad. Let's take a cab there, man. Detective Day 9. Go, 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 go. Bam. Oh, ah, confirm. Let's do this. Let us do this. Leaving the seamstress union behind, you head to the docks. The Ripper killed Sam. And maybe he or she slipped up with this latest victim. Left some useful evidence. Only one way to find out. South Seattle's your typical industrial area. Grit, grime, and gray. The rain doesn't help matters any. Layers of dirt mixed with abandoned wood pallets repurposed into makeshift furniture for the day. Workers. <laughs> Garbage collects in the gutters of the broken down street. Disreputable is this district's middle name. Your destination, the National Transportation Safety Board Warehouse. It's located on a small strip of dock towards the less maintained end of the waterfront. Despite the presence of those who linger in such places, it's quiet as you approach the gate. Uh-oh. Natel, 1884, asks, coffee or nap? I'm going nap. Can you just zoom out all the way? Uh-oh. Streetwalker. Music's good. Hey, you looking for a good time? You know anything about the NTSB? Yeah. The bums around here have been stealing old crap from that place for years. Not worth my time, though. <sighs> Isn't this just the beauty of Kickstarter? The fact that a whole bunch of people chipped in, and then this happened. Hell yeah. Lone Star Guard. The guard looks bored. Like, I can tell with that sort of mask. Are you serious? That... Looks bored. Look at that bored-looking collection of metal with eyes that glow. He toys with his gun absentmindedly, like he might shoot something on a whim just to watch it die. 
Hey, you're about to trespass on corporate property. You're looking to get dusted. Great stuff. Great stuff. Great stuff. Hmm. I'm working with the coroner, Bronze. Open the gate. Sure you are. And I'm Lofware, the king of the dragons. Beat it. Get out of here. Hmm. Let's climb the ladder. Hey, that's mine. Homeless man. Hmm. Who raised you? A pack of wolves? That their ladder is rightfully mine. <laughs> I could use your intestines as a rope instead. I'm not taking it far. I just need a little boost over the fence. Oh, you breaking into the NTSB warehouse too? If you see any of them airplane blankets or pillows, snag me one. Dude, airplane blankets and pillows are just appallingly bad. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking too many lights up in this room because it's getting sunny. Alright, we're in the natural daylight. Day 9-ville. All right, let's. Where can I put it? Where's the place where I can put it? Hmm. Alright, I don't know how to get there. Let's see if the streetwalker wants to say anything to me. You looking for a good time? Alright, so I can use her, but I really want this fence, I really want this ladder thing to work. Oh my god. Can I go over here? Is there something else I need to push? Do I need to collect another item? Oh my god, I'm gonna be stuck, aren't I? You know what? Just, just I'm gonna... No, I don't wanna pay you. Alright, nope, I'm gonna pay her. Patience ran out. Done. She looks at you knowingly. Alright, 20 buys you 5 minute distraction. Gotta go back to work and earn some real Nuyen. Oh. Wolf. Dude, if this were a LucasArts adventure game, you would try to set the ladder down and he'd be like, Hey, I'm not distracted by anyone, so I'm watching you. Ooh, Karma gained three. Five Karma? Sweet. I'll spend that in a bit. Ladders, ladders everywhere. Come on, food coma. I'm staving you off. Item pickups. Loot, 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 loot. What is it? What is it? What is it? Phosphorus grenade. What else is here? Fichetti concussive grenade. Send this to the stash. About to transition to a new location, yeah.
The warehouse. Inside, the large gray warehouse is as typical as the outside. High ceilings adorned with girders and rickety catwalks. Top a huge utilitarian room. Concrete and steel walls meet a concrete floor. This is a place for storing things. Ah, we did it. And nothing more. Despite the quiet on the outside, the inside is a hornet's nest of lone star officers. Going about their business in the center of the activity is the Emerald City Ripper's latest victim. With uniforms everywhere, no one stops your door. It seems this case hasn't leaked to the press yet. Lone Star, no, you've got a job to do. Got a job to do. All right. Detective Day Nine's here. Hello, officer. Is that, is that Officer Craphead? The other guy's name? Crap, 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 Officer Aguirre. You again. How do you find out about this murder? The press hasn't even picked it up yet. I have my sources. Listen, officer. I'm just trying to do right by a client. Mind if I look around? Or, hmm. Yeah. Whatever, I have better things to do, like find the Emerald City Ripper and make something of myself. We've gone through the researcher's computer, and I have suspicions that this is a copycat crime. The victim worked here at the NTSB warehouse as a black box researcher. NTSB? Dude, come on me, I've had this defined before. The National Transportation Safety Board. This warehouse is used to go over the wreckage from plane crashes to try to determine what happened. The victim was in charge of their highest priority investigation at the moment. <sighs> We've gone through the victim's computer and his case notes indicate he was selling secrets. Idiot kept records. <laughs> well, spilling corporate secrets not the wisest career choice. Nope. Some runner like you probably offed him to cover up his court master's involvement and tried to make it look like a ripper killing. Here's the office key. Check it out for yourself if you want. I think I will. Shannon Half Sky. Dresden, what up, Dresden? Day 9! Still working for the dead man? Ha 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 ha. As you can see, we've got another Ripper victim on our hands. Looks like business is good for a dial a morgue these days. <laughs> Let's start with this one. You look like you've been putting in some overtime, Dresden. What can you tell me about the victim? The victim's male, mixed Native American descent, age 38. Based on the condition of the body, it looks like he was killed around 2 in the morning. And yes, I'm a little tired. Bodies have been piling up like cordwood, it seems. Cause of death? Unknown. Several internal organs were removed from his body after death, quite gruesomely. I'm not sure if the killer even knew what they wanted before they started cutting. Not much else to tell yet, really. He does have a lot of pre-existing scar tissue, so he probably had a major surgery at some point in recent history. Unfortunately, with the organs gone, I can't determine the nature of the surgery. Dude. Hmm. Something is amiss with our murder investigation. Any idea which organ the Ripper was after this time? Well, the killer definitely took the lungs. The more I look at it, the other missing organs may just be eviscerated within the chest cavity. Is McCluskey getting any closer to a suspect? McCluskey couldn't find his ass with both hands. Don't tell him I said that, though. <laughs> How's Officer Aguirre doing on the case? Seems like a real go-getter. Aguirre would love to solve it, but uh, before McCluskey gets his gold detective shield. Plus, he'd love to see McCluskey suck it in front of his superiors. He's already tried to bribe me to keep information from McCluskey and slip it to him. I'm inspired by their tireless pursuit of justice. Ha! <laughs> oh, what a great line. Did you take the money? He grins from ear to ear. Do you have any idea how much this job pays these days, sir? I don't think I get his office salary is going to do much to seduce me into helping him. Hmm. Sounds like the Ripper is taking a different trophy from each victim. Sam's liver. This guy's lungs. Any theories? <sighs> Sorry, I don't do theories. <sighs> I'm just a scientist who happens to prefer dead people. However, while there was massive damage in the chest cavity, I can see that the victim's lungs were transplants. Which is interesting, since another victim's missing heart was also a 
transplant. Granted, modern medicine has made organ transplants relatively easy, but it is an odd coincidence. But as a scientist, it's just that, a coincidence. This is only the third body I've personally examined. One of our other branch managers handled the other two. If I find more of the victims had organ transplants, I'll let you know. No, I'll let you know! They do! Alright, I'm moving my mouse up. Who's that woman over there? No clue, she just showed up. Next of kin, I think. All right, let's investigate. Shannon Half Sky, what is up, Shannon? You're not a cop. She looks up, watching you warily. Ooh, nice eye face. Really pretty eye face you have there. Dead eye face. All right, I'm independent. What's the relationship to the dead man? All right, I see you're praying. You know the deceased. Yes, he's my older brother. I've asked Bear to help me speak to him. She shakes her head. Looking like one who has found herself lost <laughs> for the first time in her life. But I'm afraid his spirit is too disoriented by his recent journey to answer me. You are a shaman? Yes, for all the good it's doing me. If I could just make contact, I might be able to deliver justice and allow my brother's spirit to rest. Hmm. There's gotta be a way to force him to talk. A spirit is but an echo and my brother's is in a very fragile state. My brother's spirit may not be alone here this night. She closes her eyes and concentrates, droning a low chant that you can barely hear. Yes, there are others, other spirits who may be of help. Her features harden in frustration, as if she's searching for something that remains elusive. Sighing, she opens her eyes and fixes you with a stare. But I can't do it alone. What do you need? This warehouse contains the spirits of plane crash victims trapped between worlds. They wish to help. They wish to be heard, and I think they have something to say about my brother's murder. Lone Star won't let me in there, but you seem to have the run of the place. If you can find personal items that belong to the victims, I believe I can summon a spirit to speak with us. I'll need at least two such, ob two such objects. Two such objects. Can you find them for me? Of course! Going into the office. Straight for the locker. This appears to be the victim's locker. The door is slightly ajar. Inside you see several of the dead man's personal items. Inspect toothbrush. The blue toothbrush is still wet from being used. It smells of mint and cigarettes. This appears to be the victim's locker. The door is slightly ajar. Inside, you see several of the dead man's personal items. Spike the comb. And I just took it! As you reach for the comb, the hair on the back of your hand stands on end. And when you take it off its little shelf, your heart thumps in your chest. Hard. This must be one of the items the shaman was looking for. Let's go over here where I bet there's personal items. Oh, the computer is locked with two-factor encryption key. Gosh, I'm not a decker at all. I don't know how to deck. Very insecure about my deck. I need to get over here somehow. How do we achieve that? Let's go down this way. Super tough guy model. Open door. Go, go, go. There's a pile. There's a large pile of old shoes on the ground next to the airplane seats. They could be discarded luggage or possibly the shoes worn by the occupants of the plane at the time of the crash. Dig through the shoe pile. Hmm. Let's investigate them all. 
The sneaker is a child's and has musty, sweaty smell. Oddly, you get a sort of shock as if from static electricity when you touch it. This must be one of the items the shaman was looking for. I have two haunted objects, but I can't help but keep looking. Oh, I can look over there, too. It's hard to say whether this is a heap of items and refuse recovered from a plane crash or simply trash that hasn't been taken out yet. Dig, dig, dig. A sticky substance of some sort seems to have seeped through the trash pile, and your hands are quickly covered with the stuff. After searching for a minute, you unearth a handful of interesting items. Inspect the earring. Oh, yeah. Dented lunchbox. Cred stick. Ooh! Go, 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 go. I want to investigate this thing. Because I saw it shining. It totally didn't shine when it was there. You don't need to go right now. The old poster depicts a svelte young woman posing with an assault rifle. Ooh! How svelte. Alright, we're going to do some shaman praying after this break. Bam! Bam!